unreal well folks uh this will be the last video of today this is just so alarming on so many levels and for the ones that want to try to come for me especially the men you want to uh one in particular you're going to try to come for me about black men and stereotyping if you would stop doing this the news would stop showing it and i don't mean just you personally but here this is what this is a reality you really have to think and this is a small channel and i'm very grateful for all the subscribers you have to think that if i don't show this or other people don't show this they're going to think that wow that's a really good place to live blackistan blackistan i think afghanistan is probably safer than blackistan at this point and you wonder why certain areas everywhere you go, Boca Raton, everywhere you go, it's, it's all gated. Gee, I wonder why, put, why is it mainly gated in Boca Raton? You're not just going to roll up through there and do what you want to do, little homie. I wonder why. It's gotten to a point, a lot of our people don't even know how to act like, act civil. I don't know who raised this walking trash, and that's what it is. And you want to holler some redeeming quality? Well, if you think this, some of these youngsters can be redeemed, let's go ahead and drop you in where they live and walk around with your wallet, and we're going to see what's going to happen. They might lay you flat. You might find yourself at the Emmy's office, the medical examiner. This is so bothersome. So I, I have never seen this much. I've never seen it in real life. Well, once I, we were... We were in Chicago, and we got lost, and I saw uh, a fight. You know, I was like a teenager then, but I sympathize with the decent people in this community, and you wonder why there's hyper all this stress. This is the result of poverty D, and we can't leave out Miss Poverty P with her trifling behind. And then you may have a single mother working hard trying to make it with her kid. Can you imagine the stress knowing your child? Anything can happen anywhere, but imagine the stress. This is out there with your child, and probably every day somebody's getting shot. So take a look at this clip. These idiots don't think. I, I can't imagine. I'm going to say this. I can't imagine <clears throat> what the ancestors look down and see this. And especially all the ones that they've gone through in this country. Fighting for rights, Lord have mercy. I I just I just cannot imagine. And then you look down and you're looking at this is what's going on with this group. Are you kidding me? Is this what's going on with our people? so embarrassing it is psychologically dehumanizing there's no humanity look at this and when they catch i hope he realizes when they do catch you or unless he gets a gun down in the streets so or by the cop become a hashtag when you in that pen you're not gonna have your gun that's how stupid they are when you're in that pen you're not gonna have your gun so watch this clip and i'll come back with a brief commentary um here we go. Again, fair use. Natalie Dudridge spoke to one of the latest victims, a veteran who was hit by a stray bullet. Surveillance video shows a group of men running as a man in a white hoodie pulls out a gun. Another person in red takes cover and climbs into the backseat of a car and pulls away. Police say an argument turned violent at 5th Avenue and East 118th Street around 6 p.m. Tuesday. This man, Wilbert Greer, who goes by Tony, shows us where he was grazed by a stray bullet. Oh, man, just pretty shooken up, you know, still shooken up from the uh, impact. Greer points to spots where bullets appear to have bounced off the glass of the deli where he works. He and the deli owner are veterans, so their instinct was to protect the people inside. While the uh, bullets were firing, we had to stand in front of the kids until they got scrambled to safety. We were in Desert Storm together the same uh, platoon. 
So we started searching each other's uh, bullet holes. Gun violence continues to spike in the city. So far this year, there have been 945 shooting victims. Early this morning, just after 12, police say a 45-year-old man was shot in a carjacking. He was driving on the small Washington Bridge, not the GWB near 181st Street, when at least one bullet hit him in the head, causing him to crash the car. Investigators say the suspects, a group of men riding dirt bikes, left the driver for dead and stole his vehicle, but he survived. Isn't that something? The inner city is becoming wider. I hate to say it. They need to do a roundup. Citizens, you need to start arming yourselves, and it's time to do a roundup. It's time for a roundup. And they need to start charging them. I don't care if you were 12 years old, you got a gun committing a crime, still at age 12, go ahead and discharge them as an adult. Just pack them in. I don't want to hear about any, any virus going on. Just pack them in. Pack them in. Stack them deep and just leave them in there. Cheap. Feed them cheap. They can eat rice cakes and water. Don't feed them at all. Just I don't. They should just start charging them as adults. This is out of hand. And some want to try to walk around uh, and holler about, oh, my goodness, you know, it's making us look bad. You want to holler about, complain about black women? We're not committing crimes like this. So this right here, your boy says it best. I'm just going to erase their shit, but it's a lot of angry, trauma. it's a lot of trauma with some, but I'm just saying some. And it's not just black women, it, it's everybody. Black women, not all. There's a lot of trauma. This video is literally filtering out all this trauma because they're going off on going off and not even in context with what I was saying. I was saying they're trying You're not even in context with what you're saying. Trying to dismantle black manhood. They're trying to ruin the black father image. So what is the black father image for these youngsters like this here? Where is this man at? Woman what kind of female are you to give birth to a man? And this is what you put here. We, this, this is what you put here. We have men here. They are veterans. So they are fighting for the country now. Fighting for this trash. They are veterans. People, look at this. People having to run. Lady like laying down on the ground to escape. All because you have a difference. All because you have a, uh, a difference in the deli. Is that right? How will they respond if there's a difference in, in, in business or a job? Oh, that's right. I forget. They are so destructive. They'll either be dead or hanging uh, on the system. They're not capable of, uh, of working on a job. Matter of fact, they don't deserve one. But it's okay. Because see what's going to happen. It's a greater play here. What they don't get is all this right here, this behavior, this glorified, this hood culture, this violent culture. Trust me. When they get the immigrants situated, the ones that are here, they're going to get those work visas. Mm-hmm. IA will be kicking that rear end. Don't be surprised if they starve them out. And the sad thing is good people will have to suffer as well. How are you going to, what kind of community can, can survive like this? Just shooting senseless. These kids just running. One fool with a gun. If I was on a jury, I would give him life in prison. I don't want to hear about some study psychology. He's not well developed. He is a degenerate. I, I would have no problem doing that. And I guess that's why the last time it's been a while, but they definitely didn't call me. I was um, excused. So this is the world we live in. You want to do a lot of marching? 
Gotta do more than marching. That's the least of your concerns. There's so much work to be done in this community. And the sad thing is, the ones that try to do it, uh, come out of some of those marshes and try to talk to this right here. He might shoot you. And then you want somebody to come walk for you because you a hashtag. Oh my gosh. I, I, it is, this is unreal. I'm going to have to shut this down. So I just want you guys to be aware. You think I joke, beware of the angry black man. Please have your gun in hand. That also goes for any other race. A uh, little dusty Dan. The one who's walking around New York City throwing um, some type of uh, liquid on, on, on a grown man that, that harmed him. That'll be the next video. But this right here. This is on, it's, it, it doesn't even make any sense. It doesn't. So feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And people just try, please, just try to uh, stay safe. I wish you much love. I wish you health. And I wish you wealth. And I'm out. Thanks for listening.